the ceremony just now was to make merit and to dedicate it to Yom Gao, who passed away seven years ago today. We think of her all the good that she did for the monastery. And we hope that wherever she is now, that she's doing well, and that whatever we can do to send in terms of the current of the mind, we're happy to send. Because when someone has gone beyond after death, that's the only way you can contact them is through the mind. There are many dimensions in the mind that are hard to explain, but they're there. Like when you spread thoughts of goodwill, sometimes some people actually feel it, and it can actually have a good impact on them. So if you're going to think about somebody you want to send good energy in their direction, the best thing to do is get your mind in good shape first. It's like wanting to send a present, you want to send something good. So this is one of the reasons why meditation is an important part of making merit. The good you do in the world has to come from the mind. So you want to get the mind in a good shape, get the mind centered and still, with a sense of inner well-being. When you feel good inside, okay, then it's easy to wish for other people to feel a sense of happiness as well. So try to get your mind still with the breath. Make the breath comfortable. Any other thoughts coming right now, you don't have to pay any attention to them. Just get the mind focused and still, to the point where it trusts the breath and is willing to settle down with it. Up until that point, the mind's already ready to jump to the next thing, but if you can get a sense that the breath feels really good and this is a good place to stay. And you can tell yourself that the qualities of mind you develop doing this are good for whatever is going to come up in your life. Because there's a voice that says, well, we've got to prepare for this, you've got to plan for that, and who knows you know, how much longer we're going to be around. Maybe those things aren't going to happen to us, maybe we're not going to be, even be here for them. What we do know is whatever comes up in life is going to require a lot of mindfulness and a lot of alertness, especially the unexpected things. So we can develop those qualities right now, and that's what we're doing as we meditate. You to be mindful, you remember to stay with the breath, you're alert to notice what the mind is doing. And you're ardent to do this right. In these ways you develop good qualities of the mind, and the mind trusts its ability to settle down in the present moment. It trusts its, the necessity of settling down. Once it has a sense of trust right here, okay, then it can meld in with the object and really be at home. This creates a sense of well-being that goes even deeper inside. If you want to dedicate that to others, you've got a much deeper thing to dedicate. So try to make the mind one. We like to think of when there are lots of things that they have more value than just one thing, but there are a lot of things in the world that if you have just one, it's very valuable. If there's only one diamond in the world, you can imagine how valuable that would be. Or with fruit. If there was only one variety of that particular fruit in, available in the stores, that, that one fruit would have a lot of, lot of value. But if it's overflowing the, the shelves, overflowing the aisles, it has no value at all. People throw them away. It's the same with the mind. If you've got the mind one, then it has a lot of value inside. When you think giving it that state of mind as a gift to other people, okay, you're giving something that's very valuable as well, something you can be proud of, something they would be happy to receive.